Greetings gaming citizens, Mike here. Welcome back to another reaction video. So today, we're going to be watching the Indie World Showcase on April 19th. I don't know why I'm giving you the date. You already read the title. Let's get right into it. So yes, it is, uh, I, I'm not reacting to it live. Uh, life things. Let's just go with that. I'm excited to see what kinds of indie games are uh, on deck. I already know that we're not getting Silk Song, so you know. Copium. Not even sure what to expect. I guess some more Mia the Hollower stuff. Really want to cover that because I tried that at PAX. Cat. It's, a, it's always a good start. That's a walking peach. What a dick. Our village worked hard. Sorry, I forgot the audio was off. Success. I'm not re-recording this. The story this. <laughs> of Nico drifted from memory. Yet there are some who still believe in the power of magic and This myth. art style looks familiar. I can't put my finger on it, but Welcome to Mineko's Night Market. Pokémon Cafe ago, Mix. The villagers at the base That's of what that reminds Fugu me of. Worshipped the mythical sun cat Nico. However, recent sightings reveal this myth may no longer be a legend. As the adorable Mineko in this narrative adventure sim, you'll do various jobs, befriend the townsfolk, and craft all sorts of doodads in preparation doodads. for the weekly night market. Oh man, I hope there's wow, some doohickeys. Maybe we'll get up to some tomfoolery. There's of things to do here, like joining parades, entering cat races, and performing on stage. Did we mention cat races? Nearly everything cat can, races! can be sold at the market. Now that's one happy customer. And if you're just itching to explore, the island's got lots of secrets to uncover and puzzles to solve. But be careful, you might encounter some meddlesome agents along the way. Stop by Mineko's Night Market. Agents? Setting up shop on the Nintendo fucking Switch FBI September is in this 26th. game? Hello,我是石光系列的导演徐植 Currently, uh, writing down games to wish list on my, uh, on my notepad file. I do this with every indie world. There are just so many games I want to try. Love adventure, role-playing, and simulation games? This sequel to My Time at Porsche has it all! Through a captivating story, rife with dozens of characters and side quests, you're tasked with restoring this post-apocalyptic desert community to its former glory. Equipped with your trusty tools, you'll gather resources to assemble machines and transform a derelict workshop into a finely tuned facility. Lots of customization options are also in your toolbox. No, I kind of like this. I don't know why, but it reminds me, and, and I mean this like home, with the most respect. Like. Kind of but feels like a Roblox game in terms of like just functionality. Like, it kind of feels like a tycoon game, but like I like relics. that. I like that. Or say hi to the locals and make some friends. Unfortunately, this town's kind of popular with the monsters, so take them down what? and melee That's combat. Not a monster, that thing looks fucking cute. Launches on Nintendo Switch this summer. Okay, write this one down. So this is kind of like overcooked, but you build your own restaurant. Wait, those sound effects are familiar. <laughs> if 
I heard these sound effects before. Oh, plate up! Ever dreamed of having your very own restaurant? Well, now you can in the roguelite management sim, Plate Up. Create, decorate, and automate the restaurant of your dreams. Place and arrange appliances however you'd like. You know, I could but never uh, imagine associating roguelite hands full. with management Lots sim. Of hungry customers Seems like an interesting combination. Meals at lightning fast speeds. Fortunately, you don't have to undertake this gastronomic journey alone. Up to four chefs. I didn't know the Yogg's cast crew even this. Or online cool. to help run this culinary empire. Manage both the kitchen and front of house to keep your customers happy. At the end of every randomly generated shift, you can acquire new high-tech appliances like turbo ovens to upgrade your kitchen and make your next restaurant venture even more successful. Serve up some deliciousness when Played Up launches on Nintendo Switch this October. I hear it's a fun enough game. It's pretty cool. <gasps> Cat! Quilt and cats of Calico to gra, która powstała z naszej miłości do gier planszowych i kotów. Kiedy wyobrażam sobie idealne miejsce do odpoczynku, widzę ciepły kot i mojego mruczącego kota Darwina. Mogę wtedy zrelaksować się przy ulubionej książce. Także dla mnie koty są synonimem przytulności i ciepła. Te uczucia chcieliśmy wyrazić w naszej adaptacji gry planszowej Calico. Mamy nadzieję, że poczujecie je tak samo jak my. Miłego oglądania. Looking for the perfect board game night? Uh. Check out Quilts and Cats of Calico. Adapted from the real-life tabletop game Calico, you'll make a quilt from pattern pieces of fabric. Place pieces on the board, sew buttons to score points, and attract adorable cats. Aw, cute! Each cat has a this. preferred pattern, so stitch in style to become a master quilt maker. Get cozy with up to three friends in local and online multiplayer. Join this is just like a feel-good game for the sake of or being a feel-good game. Weekly and I challenges. Love it. You can also take some time to customize your cats and give them a positively great look. Cuddle up with Quilts and Cats of Calico, launching on the Nintendo Switch system this fall. That's really nice. Oh, that's um, Crypt and Necrodancer, right? Oh yeah, it's that like rhythm game. What I would give to be good at detecting rhythm, because Lord knows I can't do that. The character designs are awesome too. They they have a solid style going here. I like that. Wow, this game has some sick beats. I can tell. You've been bobbing your head for a while. In this spin-off of Crypt of the Necro Dancer, you've still got to move to the rhythm, but it's got a new musical twist of lane-based combat. Monsters will come flying at you, so match the on-screen prompts to kick them to the curb. Each one has a different movement pattern, and some take multiple hits to defeat. Oh, and let's not forget boss battles. That'll really get you grooving. And if you need a break from the baddies, there's a special mini game to play for each of the five character storylines. Keep the beat alive. I don't know why, but the, like the mini games remind me of Wario. Switch this year. It's probably just a style thing. Next up, we've got some DLC news to share for games we previously featured in Indie World. All right, DLC. Let's see it. Let's More DLC it. Puzzles await in the cupboards and drawers DLC for a little to the left. Get tidying across 25 new puzzles as you explore a world of small spaces, secret compartments, and surprising stuff stuffed into every drawer. Charming new illustrations and scenarios are also included in this paid DLC, launching on Nintendo Switch this June. That seems dig neat. into more roguelite puzzle action. Oh, Shovel Knight Dig, of course. Puzzlers Pack. Venture forth as two newly playable characters. Test your puzzle prowess with quandary challenges and make your way through the perplexing halls of Castle Quandary. You can also pay Mr. Hat a visit for over 20 in-game hats to modify runs or pick up some nifty new relics in Chester's shop. This free DLC shovels its way onto the Nintendo Switch system this spring. Oh wow, that's soon. Oh, Cult of the Lamb. 
stuck in the relics of the old faith update for cult of the lamb now with actual Dozens religion items relics and enemies are scattered across remixed dungeons guarded by the new versions of the four guardian bishops take your spoils to back to the cult with new buildings to construct and followers to recruit plus a new unlockable quest and after beating the game keep the faith going with the new permadeath gauntlet and boss rush modes this free update launches on nintendo switch april 24th just a right cult yeah. of the land hello i am funny man video game donkey from big mode publishing oh, this i am joined guy. today by the creator of animal well billy basso hello i'm billy basso the developer of animal well i've been working on animal well for over five years at this point all alone, making everything that goes into the game, including the engine. I was trying to give people the experience of finding something new in a place they've already been before. Pretty much somewhere that's filled with puzzles that you would want to keep coming back to over and over again. I hope you enjoy Animal Well when it comes out on Nintendo Switch. Thank you. A labyrinth. So what the fuck well, is Donkey well, well. doing there? Sounds like you're ready for Animal Well. In this atmospheric pixelated world, You'll search for treasures as you gradually uncover a dense environment. Where you go is entirely up to you. Perfect! So, I shouldn't need to worry about anything dangerous, right? Yeah, about that. You're not alone in this labyrinth. Many interesting creatures live here, but some might be hostile, so stay alert. Any items you've picked I like how up it kind of looks like it's in a, a perpetual ways, CRT like filter. Like making a quick getaway, or having friendly creatures help you out in Those a Those are cool smoke effects. And speaking of items, there's a lot to uncover here. So get the bitch wand. and see what you find. I'll be well prepared then. Summon your courage and curiosity for Animal Well, launching on Nintendo Switch early next year. That seems neat enough. What? Who let bro cook? Guess what? It's crime o'clock! Mm, that's odd. My watch says otherwise. I meant the puzzle exploration game. Anyway, there's no time to waste. You've got over 40 cases to, to solve across time and space. But where, or I guess when, do I even begin? Elementary, my dear Andrew. Look at your map. There are lots of eras to visit from the lost age to a cybernetic future. In each era, you'll see how, how crime scenes develop for different time ticks. Mm, sorry Wait about the interruptions. Second. Could I do something in one era and change events? Let's just pretend this is exactly. part of the trailer. <laughs> By traveling through time, meeting characters, and resolving each case, the map will change and more adventures will be unlocked. Sounds like a timeless experience. Set your alarms to Crime O'Clock when it launches on Nintendo Switch June 30th. Hello, I'm Peter, project leader at Rain Games. I'm down. Ola, the art director. <laughs> and I'm Marion, co-producer. For the last 10 years, we created a variety of different games, expanding the Tassagrad universe. Now we are returning to our roots for a sequel. These titles are not only a celebration of the original game, but also Scandinavian nature and folklore, the origin of so much of our game's uh, visual identity. We hope you'll find as much wonder as we have in this universe and join our homecoming. We see you at the top of the tower. Tusentag! Ooh, okay. Whoa! Electric powers! Shocking, am I right? Close! In Tesselgrad 2, you'll harness electromagnetic powers to solve physics-based puzzles. Move seamlessly through Scandinavian-inspired environments, accompanied by an orchestral soundtrack influenced by Nordic folk tunes. But this land holds many dangers, as fearsome I beasts like we don't have stand nearly as many like Master Nordic the art themed of games out there. And defeat them to discover Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. Plus, like, you can play like a remastered version awesome. of the first Tesla grad game, which adds enhanced visuals and 10 extra challenge levels. Both Teslagrad 2 and Teslagrad Remastered bolt onto the Nintendo Switch system. Later today, you can get the game separately or bundled together in the Teslagrad Power Pack Edition. I do like a good bundle deal. 
Oh. Lobsters. Oh, fish men. Uh, okay, government can spit A, yo. That seems like a funny enough game. No shows have been invented yet. <laughs> I love that. The uh, fucking arachnophobia mode. <laughs> Shadows over loathing. Mobsters, monsters, and mysteries? Sounds like the cat's pajamas. Sign me up. Okay. Set in the 1920s within the West of Loathing universe, Shadows over Loathing is a slapstick RPG full of silliness and stick figures. Your Uncle Murray asks you to help run his antique shop in Ocean City, but he's nowhere to be found. While searching for him, you'll encounter a sinister plot that could spell the end of the world. Venture through a sprawling Wait, black and white world. I don't think I've played the first frogs, one. Sentient like, math and eldritch horrors. It seems There's crazy enough that I would like it. To play. March to the beat of your own nefarious schemes as a jazz agent, or hold the curds of the cosmos in your hands as a cheese wizard. <laughs> The digital version of Shadows Son of a bitch, I'm in. Launches on I love Switch cheese. Later today, the physical version of the game will launch this fall. Physical version, you say? Hola, somos parte del equipo de The Game Kitchen, creadores de Blasphemous y The Last Door. Soy Enrique Cabeza, director creativo. Yo soy David Erosa, productor. Y yo Raquel Alcázar, productora junior. Blasphemous es un juego muy querido por la comunidad y desarrollar una secuela nos da la ocasión de volver a trabajar en su mundo y enriquecerlo aún más. En esta segunda parte hemos tenido la oportunidad de plasmar tanto nuevas ideas de diseño como nuevos caminos artísticos y narrativos. Os invitamos a echar un primer vistazo a Blasphemous. Oh, Blasphemous Esperamos too. que os guste. The Penitent One has returned. I don't think I played Blasphemous. Blasphemous you'll undertake a pilgrimage then again, does that really surprise anyone at this point? I'm relatively uncultured. Hack and slash your way through legions of bloodthirsty foes, they, treacherous traps, they've got and this pixel art down. Platformer. Choose from three newly added weapons, each one deadly in their own way. Wield the war sensor for slow but powerful flaming strikes, the rapier and dagger to attack with lightning fast precision, and the praying blade for vicious and versatile combos. By unlocking weapon memories, you'll learn more moves that'll help you survive the dangers lying ahead. I can see myself Penitence enjoying this game. in Blasphemous 2, slashing onto Nintendo Switch this summer. That looks, that, that just Riley? looks really cool. Riley, are you there? Riley, come in. Oh no. Okay, me? it's not what I thought it was. I was scared it was gonna be FNAF. Four hours ago, a cult opened a portal above Edwards Island. Riley, yes, but are we, are we really the ones to do something about it? Have you seen anyone else around? We've been all over. We've seen different timelines, gone back to the past. We're alone. There is no one else. Riley, that's just seriously, Riley. What is happening here? I don't know what this is, but like... Oh, well, there's my answer. <laughs> Riley returns to her hometown of Kamina to research strange electromagnetic waves. Wait, Netflix? But what she discovers is more than what she bargained for. Hmm. Set five years after the events of the first Oxenfree game, you'll tap into the town's ghostly signals and unsettling static. Tune the radio to communicate with supernatural beings, manipulate the world around you, and watch out for a shadowy cult attempting to open their own reality-altering portal. While exploring this beautiful yet treacherous town, use the new walkie-talkie conversation system to connect with local contacts. Some of them may have valuable info that can give you more insight into Kamina's mysteries. Your choices will have an impact on Riley's development, relationships, and the story. Will you forge deep friendships 
turn a blind eye to those in need, it's all up to you. Ooh, Tune in moral to choices. Oxus Lost Signals, airing on Nintendo Switch July 12th. Gonna write that Pre-orders begin today I, on I Nintendo eShop. Thanks for staying with us so far. Before we go, we'd like to show you a sneak peek of several more indie games coming to Nintendo Switch. Check oh, well, that's good. I was hoping for indie games in this indie world presentation. Okay, paper trip. Oh, okay. Little Kitty Big City. I'm noticing a, uh, a trend of cat games. Th Wait, this just looks like Untitled Goose Game, but cat. Not don't complain, that was really awesome. Chance of Senar. What even is any of that? Brotato. This looks like one of those .io games. Escape Academy, I definitely want to try that one. I believe I have that written down from the last Indie World when they showed this off. No, yeah. I'm not a FNAF guy. Get the shit off my screen. Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. Now we're talking. Holy crap. That. That has a That's visual style, and it World. shows. We hope you enjoyed everything shown in today's showcase. A huge thank you to the indie community and indie partners working on games for the Nintendo Switch system. And as always, thank you for watching. Follow our official Twitter account to stay up to date on the latest news from Indie World. Until next time, happy gaming! Gaming do be a happy hobby, don't it? But let me know what you enjoyed about the Indie World presentation in the comments down below. There were definitely quite a few titles that, I feel like I say this every time, but like the indie scene is always just impressive to me. That they're throwing all these kinds of ideas out there. Like there's never a shortage of something to play. That's what I really like about indie games. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. But the less laggy webcam.